Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to create a Shopify add to cart link. So before we start, I just want to show you that we have a blog post about it. So if you need further details, you can just check it out at popupsmart.com slash blog. Okay, so a Shopify add to cart link directs the users to cart page with the items preloaded into their carts. This might be a little advanced for some users, but I will show you as simple as possible. So I just go to the blog post and I will just copy this URL right here. Okay, it tells me to replace this yoursite.com with my website. So let me go to a search bar and paste it. Okay, I changed it with my Shopify website's URL. Then we need to replace the variant ID. Let me go to my Shopify admin panel and find a, a product variant ID. For this on the left hand panel, you will see products. And then you should choose a product that has variants. For example, this one, let's scroll down. And then as you can see, it has different sizes. These are the variants. So when you click edit on one of them, you will see that the URL changes. So according to the blog post, I should just copy this code right here. Going back to the search bar and I will change variant ID with my product variant ID. So as you can see, this number one here shows me the quantity of the product. And if I want, I can add multiple items as well. For this, of course, we have the URL here as well. Okay. I'll just try this one. Let's go. Okay. As you can see, when I go to that URL, it automatically adds this item to my cart. Okay. So now that we know how to create a Shopify add to cart link, let's think about what to do with it. Like you can just embed this uh, URL to your emails. And when the users read your email and click that button, they can just go to their cart with the item in it. Or you can just create a QR code with this link and when someone scans the QR code, they will have this item in their cart. If this seems a little bit complicated for you, I'll show you an easier way. We're going to use a free tool. We're going to use pop-ups for this. As you can see, we have the Shopify element right here. I'm using pop-up smart pop-up builder right now. And when you click on it, there's a section where you can just paste your collection URL so that the visitors can see the items in your collection. And again, we have the button right here. We can just assign an action to this button. If you want, you can choose the uh, action as add to cart or go to the product. So as you can see, this was very straightforward. There are no variant IDs involved whatsoever. You can just try it out for yourself. Go ahead, go to mobilesmart.com and create a free account. There's a forever free plan actually. And let me know what you think. See you next time.